very much about what they're saying to me. It's you're in between, you're in that in between state, the in between time. So we are now, I think about 27th of December, and they're saying you're in between times. So in between the sense of moving from the Christmas period and then moving into the new year, you're in between this state. Okay, thank you. Uh, when they mean that uh, in between state, it's very much about. Uh, okay, thank you for doing this now. Um, this is my guys, my spiritual team here that give me this information. It's a bit like holding that space for yourself at the moment. It's that. Uh, it's that feeling of. Okay, thank you. They just said you get this. Uh, okay, thank you. We think humans are a little bit silly in some sense. I'll, I'll explain. We build up this, this Christmas period we you know have all these roller coaster roller coaster rides of emotions and and anticipating what's going to come christmas time uh and it could be okay thank you uh, you know my family's been affected by a number of deaths this year so people who we've loved and they wouldn't be sitting around the table with us at christmas time and that feeling of them missing and the feeling that goes with that and we've had it's been a very strange time we've you know we've come from that feeling of missing those individuals that would be sitting their placemats sort of almost as if we, we lay a placemat for them at the table um but they're not physically there but their energy is there okay um and the, for some it's been the excitement of new Burst. Okay, thank you. I know what they're trying to say to me. So for us, we've had quite a number of people that passed over, and literally while we're preparing for um, Christmas Day, uh, we found a few um, sounds around the house and a few things that were happening around the house. Um, plates falling onto the side, which no one had gone near, or um, ornaments that fallen from the side, or decorations that just fell all of a sudden whenever we were mentioning that person's name or we were thinking about a loved one. So, yeah, my father-in-law, we always spent Christmas Eve uh, with him, and so Christmas Eve when we had our family get together, of course, he was missing, he wasn't with us at the table, and also my sister-in-law and my nephew, and it was it, we had we had those moments of thinking about them and lighting a candle for them and sending them love and we could sort of feel their presence around us and this could be many people around the world who would have had um, loved ones not nearby them who've passed over recently or who have passed over and that they're missing them this time of year and there also would have been those births so in our family, the extended part of our family, we have a new baby that was born into the family, which I saw a couple of days ago as well. So it's a roller coaster ride of emotions, they said. With the humans, it's f uh, fully high highlighted at this time because of all the emotions around seeing those individuals and also those who couldn't see their families for whatever reason may have happened. H happened, they just said, emotionally, what would have happened. As in, I think they just said, as in the lockdowns, I don't know what, okay, some parts of the world must have had some lockdowns in some sense or, uh, okay, thank you, restrictions, they sort of said around what was being happening on the planet right now. So there's been uh, this emotional turmoil that's come up for many, uh, many of, there's been a change this year, shall we say, they said, in people's emotions and uh, where people are on their journey. Uh, different from last year and the two years going back and further and, and also going back. Okay, thank you. So they're sort of saying this emotional turmoil, this emotional time, and now we, we get into this lull. It's like, what do we do in the meantime? Well, where are we? What do we do? Um, okay, thank you. They just said, uh, this is the time of assess assessing, assessing what's going on for you in your life. Okay, thank you. Is that like thinking? They said it's that that a time, that period of time. It's that in the lull at this moment. It's like either the hibernation or in the lull, awaiting for the next thing to happen. And I think they just said. And on your planet, you then move into like your celebrations, so your new year, and as you move forward. Okay, thank you. Something forward, something of interest to look forward into the future. <clears throat> Let's have a little look. Okay, thank you. And, okay, thank you. And not only are they talking, <coughs> excuse me, not only are they talking of coming out of Christmas, going into the new year of expecting of what's to come, hopefully something new, something different, some changes. But what they're saying is this goes for everything. Okay, thank you. This in-between time, this in-between time. Okay, thank you. 
what they were saying to me today was this in-between time of change and what's to come. So they're saying this is not just about this Christmas period and moving into the new year, what most people resonate with at this moment. And it's not just about coming out of a relationship, going into a new relationship. It's not just about moving from a home to a new home. This is not about moving out from a career uh, into a new career. This is not about moving out of a job into a new job. This is about this in-between time of taking a moment, taking a moment to pause to, to look where you are at. Okay, thank you. Let's have a little look what they mean again. Okay, so what they're saying is there has been change <laughs> for, yeah, there has been tr great change on the planet. And at this moment, it's now about looking at <sighs> what is it that you wish to move into? Okay, thank you. They just said, this is not about manifesting as such. This is not what we talk about. This is about, okay, thank you, about you as an individual person. So bring it back to you as an individual person. It's about you looking at what has been in your life, what has come forward and you've been going for over this last period of time. It's about to sit with it, to have a little look at what, okay, they just said, it has taught great lessons to individuals. It has taught them about strengths, their weaknesses, their vulnerabilities, their sensitivities, but it's also been a time of reflecting on your strengths as well. Okay, thank you. So they want you to look back at what has happened within this last year to see, okay, thank you, they said, would you say that you are the same person? Have you experienced the, the situation in the same way that you would have experienced before? We think not, they just said. So they're saying, as in, this will be this time that you will reflect. Use this as a period of reflection to look at what has uh, gone uh, and then sit with it at this moment. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All day they were saying to me, they kept on saying, in the in-between time, in the in-between time. So what they're saying is also it's about spending this time. They're not just talking about from December to January. That is an example of that feeling of maybe an anticipation of what's to come next year, but they're also what's to come ahead. So this is moving forward, not just through this year, but as to come, because there's great changes, they just said. Okay, they just said there has been structural changes to many individual lives and lifestyles and so it would be to look at those changes and how it affects you so that as you move forward not as in just in the year to come but as you move forward how then you wish to make those changes okay thank you again in the in-between time it is about us looking at our energy how we address things in our lives um and how we wish to move forward. Okay, thank you. Let's have a little look. Let me, okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, let's have a little look. Okay. I have a couple of guides and they're in the way they're communicating each and every one of them. They're, they're, okay, thank you. You've got three. Okay, thank you. We need one at a time. Okay. Okay. They're saying, okay, what they mean is, is by looking at your own energy, by looking at your own energy field, by looking at your own health, your lifestyle, the way you live your life, is going to affect how you move forward. And by looking at how you addressed last year from the state of, ah, uh, thank you, the world that you created, you co-created with the universe back then, believe it or not, you did through your emotions, from fears, from anxiety, from also from joyous points in your life that you had, you have manifested to where you are right now at this moment. You have co-created. So the feelings, the faults, the dilemmas, everything that you've, the emotions that you've had, you have co-created your existence right now with the universe. And that's why you have what you have in your life right now. Some might want to hear that, depending on your thoughts and feelings. So they're saying, okay, thank you, that one of them has bought a newborn baby. I was, uh, I was at a Christmas celebrations and there's a new baby that has been brought into the family and individuals were holding this baby. And this new baby, if you think of this new baby, it's, it's, of course it's got its blueprint, it's 
the code and of its DNA and what's to come and how it's going to live its life and the genetics and everything. Everything's sort of it's sitting within this baby and every human that came into contact with this baby on the day was holding this baby and I was tuning in, I was just observing how this baby felt with individuals and so I was watching this baby and some of the individuals were holding the baby, the baby was tearful, some, sometimes the baby fell asleep on this individual or the baby was communicating in gurgling or trying to construct some sound out of its voice box it, the baby you could see was really tuning into the energy of each individual person that was holding, who was communicating with him. He was really observing and he was feeling and tuning into them. And it was like, it became like one with them. So he was almost like reading or observing, absorbing part of their energy. And you could really witness this with this, this baby, you could really see it how this baby was um, absorbing the energy of this individual. Okay, thank you. And they said, and okay, thank you. Uh, one of my guys just said, and working very intuitively with that communication with the other individual, the, the communication with the person that was holding them, whoever they were to this baby, there's this form of like energy field between the two, how they became locked in one and how the baby was reading the information, uh, tuning into the information and how a baby would feel as if you knew that certain people this baby felt very safe with uh, and felt very um, confident that how they were holding them, they was fine, they was, felt very, very safe. But it was like not just from the physical sense of being held in a certain position, but it was more of that confidence of that energy oozing out of that ind individual and how they were feeling within themselves. Okay, thank you. Now, when I go back to what they just said to me about um, saying about how you co-created with the universe and how you were feeling, and this is why you have your life where you're at right now. Um, it's very similar to what I was trying to explain to you about this baby. It was like how we communicated with the world around us, just as this baby communicated, just as this baby observed, absorbed the energy of the individual that was holding this baby, the energy field of this baby and the energy field of this human that was um, holding them. This is very similar if we look back at us, um, we can see ourselves in a sense and they just said maybe as the baby as in observing absorbing the world around you and trying to communicate and trying to understand your world around you okay and those individuals that come into your life it's like then with their energy fields how you absorb how you um, communicate with those individuals how they affect you as an individual okay thank you um my guide just said we know uh okay thank you that's a bit different but okay i'll say um you know if a woman's breastfeeding and, and she eats garlic that it will transfer through into the baby and irritate the baby that's what they've just given me as an example i have to use it um, and they're saying this as the interaction with other humans around each and every one of you. It's how you're communicating and maybe not verbally as such, but how you communicate with each other. You're absorbing and your energy fields um, are impacting on each other. OK, thank you. And so through the impact of those energy fields of those individuals in your life and how it will affect you with a baby, a baby will cry as the human, the, the adult. Uh, the adult self maybe become angry or frustrated with an individual and not exactly know what again this is the intuition this is the intuitive part this is the internal part this is the gut feeling that you feel uh, a baby does not know any different a baby you have not uh, uh, you have not been told as a baby uh, you should not be responding in this way as a baby it's pure your intuition is pure the baby senses when it is scared the baby senses when it is hungry we know because of we understand of the hunger pain the, the need in food but it's the natural intuitive it's the he uh, animal it's the baby instincts it's the intuitive part of you as you grow this changes your parents, your caregivers, your, your society will tell you, don't be silly, this is not what this means. So, okay, one of my guys said, so 
we wish you to look at this is in this between time that you have as we move forward your planet is changing those individuals around you will change too it's important that you look at what it is your needs go back strip them back as like the newborn baby look at what it is that you need for you this is the time to work upon yourself this is to taste that food, to hear that music, to sense that area, to sense that location, to see how you feel when you interact with others around you, how it makes you feel. This is this time to be doing this. This is the in-between time. This is important that you go back to using your intuition, working with your basics so that you then can empower yourself. Okay, thank you. One of my guys just let over my shoulder and said, this is the superpower of the human. The superpower of the human is working with your intuition. And it is then to, uh, um, to set that intention, to set that so that you look at who you truly are. When you look at who you truly are and what your needs are and you meet your needs, first and foremost, this is not selfish. This is a must for you to continue to move forward. When you look at your own needs first, then you vi vibrate differently. Your frequency is different in what you send out into the world. A screaming baby makes people want to run away some and some want to hold the screaming baby to calm, to relax. This is not the time for you to be fixing others. This is the time for you to be nurturing your soul and yourself. This is the time when you should take the moment to find out what it is that you need. This is in this between time, between time before we reach where you must get to. And so in this between time, it is about totally about you, not so some would say selfish, self-absorbed in a sense to see what it is that you need to nourish yourself if you are nourishing yourself and your cells and your energy field you then go on to attract those around you and attract what it is that you need in your life this is true manifestation if you are coming out of a situation say for instance many of you are coming out of relationships and before they move into a new relationship first they must know thyself so if you know yourself, you then know what it is that you would like as you move forward. If you attract someone in after the relationship and not had that time to be still, you will attract again somebody who's very similar because you have not done the work on yourself. If you move or change jobs and then you end up in a similar job to where you had before, again, you have not done that work on yourself. It is always in this between times that you do this work on yourself. It is not selfish. It is important so that you know where you have been. And it is important to start igniting and working with your intuition. As you move forward, your intuition is going to guide you on the planet. It will give you the information as in where you should move to, who you should communicate with, if you feel happy in a certain relationship or if they're who you wish to bring into your life it will be about how you guide yourself and as you guide yourself you will then magnetize those coming towards you as in particles that will then come step forward and there will be more joining of individuals as in groups and communities that will be there for you those that will communicate and talk with you and have like-minded minds. It is also to a time of reflex, reflection, as in to let go of wounds, to work on those wounds, to help them to heal, which is very important at this time. Your intuition is going to be very important as you move forward through this year as you will start to realize life around you will change more structures will change so for you not to feel so afraid scared vulnerable whatever the word you wish to use 
it is so that it empowers you. This becomes your superpower. You become your own superhero. This superpower of working with your intuition and learning more about the energy fields around you so that then you can make your own decisions. You were never created on the planet in a sense for others to instruct you. But through fear, through anxiety, through worry, through we are aware of lifestyles and patterns and how many have you have intermingled with many other humans, you have almost surrendered and hand over so much that you are not making your own decisions, wherever your decision is. But it's about honouring yourself. How can you do this if you are constantly in the flow of the life around you without taking a moment to pause, to stop, to reflect? This is a time of transformation. And for you and your planet to move forward, this is your time of transforming. And many of you who are intuitive already and psychic or empaths or working with your superpower already, you'll feel this more. You may feel the uncomfortability on your planet at this moment of what's to come and what to expect. There is nothing to fear. It is just a time of change. And as we know, you humans do not like change as you prefer, as you would say, the status quo to manage. We would say control. But we would also say that this is your time now on your planet. So as you move forward into the new year, there is great change ahead of you but it's about you taking back your power. It's about you deciding the direction and what you wish to move into. And we are aware there are many of you who are fearful and who still do not know what it is you entirely want. And this is why we say this is the in-between times before we move forward in any action that you take.